citizens of Griffin Rock, welcome to our Founders Day celebration. The anniversary of the day Horace Burns established our fair town. Now, since that time, Griffin Rock has seen many other great leaders, uh, including <coughs> yours truly. If this speech lasts any longer, your torch may go out. Don't be nervous, sis. Representing generations of our family, everybody watching, no pressure. I'm not nervous, I'm honored. Well, I'm nervous. Bleeds, all you have to do is lift me up to light the ceremonial flame. Yeah, there's a good idea. Wave a burning stick in a gusty wind. All fire code requirements for this ceremony have been met, Heatwave. I saw to it personally. I'd still be a lot happier with less open flame. Not only is Danielle Burns an experienced first responder and a descendant of Horace, she also organized Griffin Rock's extremely successful clothing drive for the mainland. And so this year, Danny has been chosen to light this flame. Don't count on it, Mr. Mayor. Huxley Prescott reporting, once again ripping the lid off the scandals and secrets of Griffin Rock. At this very moment, I am holding proof that the Burnses are not the upright family everyone thinks they are. Huxley, what's all this about? It's about a skeleton in the closet, Chief. Your family's closet. There's a skeleton in the closet at the firehouse? I'll explain later. I'm referring, of course, to Horace Burns' wife, Bertha. Or should I say, Bertha the Pirate. Pirate? And not just any pirate, but THE pirate, who in 1652 stole a fortune from Ye Old Griffin Rock Guildhall Charity Fund. <gasps> Huxley, what makes you think this Bertha the Pirate was the same Bertha as my great-great-great-grandmother? Good question, Ms. Burns. Yo-ho-ho -ho and a bottle of that! <gasps> Danny Burns begotten by pirates? Hey, well, obviously, I'll just have to light the torch myself. But, Mayor, I'm not... Mr. Mayor, please. Griffin Rock has been betrayed! Mayor, look out! A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. You stay on a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now and in addition. Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. A family of heroes will be your allies. To others remain robots in disguise. Roll to the rescue. A hero. Don't let that fire spread. <laughs> My hair! Is this how you handle a crisis? Oh, just like pirates to ruin this day. Don't think for a minute you'll ever light that torch. But you started the fire. Now you're spreading accusations. Oh, if you think I'm leaving the safety of Griffin Rock in the hands of you, Buccaneer Burnses, you've got another thing coming. Mr. Mayor, listen to reason. Chief Burns, you and your entire family are suspended. What? That's ridiculous. Mayor Lusky? Are you kidding? <gasps> And your little bots, too! Mr. Alpha, Milo, Mr. Harrison, follow me. We're forming a citizen safety board. I don't understand. How can you be judged for the actions of somebody in the past? I've never understood it either. 
My teacher, Mrs. Murphy, still yells at me for all the trouble Cade caused in school. And that was years ago. Yeah, sorry, Code. But looking back, it was so worth it. For the record, I have witnessed no piratical activity amongst your family, and would swear so in a court of law. Thanks, Chase. I hope it doesn't come to that. Danny Burns, Griffin Rock wants to know if you have any comment on your spiral into disgrace. Nothing fit for TV. Where did you find this painting, and, and who told you those lies? A reporter never reveals his source. Maybe not. But most reporters didn't sing a karaoke disco medley at last year's Lobster Fest. Should I show your audience? Uh, uh, this is Huxley Prescott protecting his sources and signing off! You and your wily pirate ways. All right, then. I learned all of this from your uncle, Woodrow Burns. You'll find him in the library. Uncle Woodrow! Well, hello, family. Shh! Hello, family? Is that all you have to say for yourself? We were all just suspended because of what you told Huxley. What? But why? All I told him was that we had a pirate ancestor. Shh! Let's go somewhere where we can talk. All right, Woodrow. First of all, why would you say that to Huxley before telling us? We didn't even know you were in town. Because I wanted to surprise you all with the good news. Good news? What, our great uncle is Count Dracula? No, I'm talking about what I found while researching the family. The map to Bertha's lost treasure. A treasure map? Noble! So there really was a treasure? I thought all that pirate in the family stuff was just a legend. Unfortunately, Bertha's theft of the Guildhall Charity Fund is well documented by historians. Tisk tisk, a blemish upon the Burns family name. That was a long time ago. What difference does it make? You're right. It just doesn't seem fair. It might not even be the same Bertha. This painting doesn't prove anything. This map will definitely help clear things up. Except... It doesn't specify exactly where these islands are. I was hoping maybe you bots could help. Hmm. Let me take a look. I'm running it through the database. No matches yet. Wait a minute. Boulder, can you invert the image? Make the dark parts light and vice versa, like a photograph negative. Those aren't islands. It's water, and this is the shoreline. It's the cove by the sea caves, near the Griffin Keys. Bertha was known to frequent those caves. It's as good a place to start as any. A reverse map? She must have been pretty clever. Well, Burns family, time for an adventure. Sorry, Woody. I'm not following you on another wild goose chase. It does seem like a long shot. I think you've been punked by a pirate. I'll go, Uncle Woodrow. If it's okay, Dad. Well, I... don't worry, Charlie. I'll keep an eye on Cody. And I'll keep an eye on Uncle Woodrow. Seriously? Treasure hunting? I want to get to the bottom of this and clear the Burns family name. And my face. Arg! Shiver me timbers, matey! I'm on board, too! Our first crisis of the day! Uh, not counting the fire you started, sir? Not counting that. Our holographic traffic lights are on the fritz. But never fear, the Citizen Safety Board is here. And our own Mr. Harrison will direct traffic to keep us safe. Hey, ready, Mr. Harrison? Just watch my hand signals. All the gear we need, Uncle Woodrow? Lantern, flares, cupcakes, <laughs> you name it. The cave looks pretty narrow. I'm not sure you'll fit inside, Blades. Oh, darn. I guess I'll have to stay outside. But I'll be thinking of you. Whoa! 
We've been searching forever. This reminds me of the rock mazes of Iba Bunto. I spent hours finding my way out. So what you're trying to say is... Yep, we're lost. Uncle Woodrow. We just took a few wrong turns. But this tunnel looks promising. I think I squashed the cupcakes. Everybody okay? Where are we? Blades? Blades, do you read? No, oh, the walls must be too thick for our signal to get out. We've been gone for a long time. I'm sure he went for help by now. <laughs> I hope Danny and Cody are having as much fun as I am. That's daylight. This must be the way out. I don't think we want out just yet. A skull and crossbones, like the one in the portrait of Bertha. Do you think this could be her lair? Cody, every pirate used this symbol. It doesn't prove anything. Besides, I don't even see any treasure. Shouldn't there be two of these? I mean, you can't have a crossbones with only one bone, right? Maybe Bertha's trying to tell us something. That if she was a pirate, she wasn't very good at it. Okay, just for the sake of argument, if the second bone was here, it would point this way. Whoa! Found something! A lever! Uh -oh. Look, everybody! No way. Unbelievable! What's inside? What do you know? There's a treasure after all. There's a chest. That's all we know for now. We haven't looked yet. We decided to save the big moment for everybody to share. Well, come on, open it! The suspense is killing me! Part of me hopes it's empty. Just to prove that maybe Bertha wasn't a pirate after all. <laughs> oh. Whew. So not noting. Yeah, knew it. Too so. bad. Anticlimactic. Wait, Uncle Woodrow, look! There's something written on the inside of the chest. Another clue? Only the last key will unlock the hidden treasure. Excellent. But are there instructions on where to find this key? That it's a riddle. Hmm. Maybe a, a musical key? C sharp! The last key. Key is in island? The farthest island of the Griffin Keys! That's where the treasure must be buried. Hmm. Gotta admit, Bertha was one smart lady. Must run in the family. So, intrigued now, Charlie? Care to go on an adventure? Sure, beats sitting around doing nothing. We cannot all participate. It would be a violation of our oath to leave Griffin Rock unprotected. Griffin Rock doesn't want our protection. It's still our responsibility to keep an eye on things. Chase, you mind staying behind to watch the command center? With pleasure, and I will contact you if there is an emergency. Well then, little brother, let's go find some answers. We should be singing sea shanties! Anybody know any? Besides Yo-Ho-Ho, -ho, that one gets pretty old. What's so great about finding rusty old metal anyway? That rusty old metal is worth a fortune. Cade, we're not here to get rich. We're here to learn more about our family history. No, we're here to prove this treasure has nothing to do with our family history. That I, we, are not descended from pirates. Danny, whatever Bertha did or didn't do, it doesn't change who you are. Tell that to the mayor. Cade, maybe you should let Woodrow take the lead. He's had a bit more experience. Dad, I know what I'm doing. Be careful. These trees are perfect nesting places for indigenous insects like this. Digger wasps! Ah, I'm a 
Magic! Cave! Jump in the water! I can help with that. Get, get away! Get my face! Ah! Good thinking, Woodrow. Yeah. Thanks. I think. <laughs> that was nothing compared to the giant hornets of Wapzilla. They ever tell you about those? Often. Yes, ma'am. We know your son's kite has been stuck in that tree for hours. And the Citizen Safety Board will be there any minute. Or by Tuesday. No, sir. We can't look for your lost pet right now. Perhaps if you set out a saucer of whatever pythons drink? <laughs> oh, this is a disaster. Uh, I should never have suspended the Burnses. But I'm a leader. I can't just flip-flop now, can I? More sand. Same palm trees. And no clues. Wait, look! X marks the spot. The palm trees are the clue. The treasure is up there. I hit something. Careful now. Whatever the treasure is, it's centuries old. We wouldn't want to damage this rotted piece of wood. Oh, oh, oh man. Ow. My timber's just unshivered. Maybe it's... Another clue? Uh, no, you were right again, Charlie. Another Woodrow Burns wild goose chase. Looks like Bertha was just trying to fool everybody. Us included. I'm sorry, Woody. Really. But this can't be all there is. You said it yourself, Dad. Bertha was a smart lady. She wouldn't go to all this trouble. The map, the clues, for nothing. We're judging things by what we found on the surface. Just like the mayor judged us. Boulder, keep digging! Sure, Danny. You were right. This timber goes down pretty far. Wait. That's... The mast of a ship! Okay! Reshiver me timbers! Arg. Now that's what I call a good hiding spot. How on earth did Bertha bury her entire ship? I'm beginning to think she could do anything she put her mind to. Whoa. Jackpot. You said it. Bertha's logbook. Uh, I was talking about the gold. Forget the gold. Here, Danny, read this. I, Bertha Carnahan. Carnahan? Her maiden name, before she married Horace. Hereby end my pirate career with my richest booty yet, the Guildhall Charity Fund. Oh, so it's true. Keep reading. I wish to start afresh in life as Mrs. Horace Burns, but I cannot return the treasure without revealing my identity. While I would gladly accept my own punishment, I cannot bring shame upon Horace and his family. Thus, I bury this treasure here, hoping that one day my descendants may find it and do what is honorable. What I do, I do for love. She really was a pirate. Exactly, was. But she got a second chance and took it. Now it's up to us to do as she asked. What do we tell the mayor? I have a few ideas. Welcome to Founder's Day Part 2! Forget Founder's Day! What are you doing about that useless citizen safety board? Milo, you're on that board! Wait, that's beside the point! We need the Burgess back! Bring back the Burgess! Bring back the Burgess, everybody! Bring, Bring back, back the Burgess! You down there! Bring, Bring back, back the Burgess! I like the sound of that. Danny Burns, your pirate clan are not invited to this celebration. You might want to reconsider. Ooh, yeah! Gold doubloons. Enough to fix the damage from yesterday's fire. And any other damage caused by our suspension. Huxley Prescott on the scene with breaking news. Danny Burns, is this Bertha's lost treasure? Bertha's found treasure. And the rest of it will go to charity, as originally intended. I know it's the right thing to do, but that part kind of hurts. And we found her pirate ship. That will go to the museum. Aw, we're giving away that too? I wanted to keep it. 
None of that changes the fact that your ancestor was a pirate. Ah, but she gave up the pirate life when she fell in love with Horace Burns. The proof is here. But that doesn't even matter. It doesn't? No, because people should be judged for what they do, not their family or their friends or anybody else. And that's true whether they're pirates, police, or even politicians. Well, in that case, welcome back, Burnses! Here, Chief. These are your problems now. Uh, you may want to deal with the python first. Hey, Danny, could you come to school and repeat that speech to Mrs. Murphy? Aw, sure, Cody. And we'll bring Cade. Me? With Mrs. Murphy? She'll give me detention for life! I want to go back to the firehouse. We need to find that closet and get rid of the skeleton. I think we just did, buddy. So, Uncle Woodrow, does the logbook say how Bertha and Horace met? Or how they fell in love? No. Clearly, there's more to this story. Who's up for the library? No thanks. No thanks. I need to clean the toaster. Once a year's my limit. <laughs>